insert a flathead screwdriver and turn it clockwise to unlock the battery retention mechanism. Lift the battery up and away from its compartment. Lift the MacBook up and take note of the three Phillips screws that hold this retention bracket in place. Now, remove these screws. Remove the retention bracket from the MacBook. Take note of these two pry bars and move them as far possible to the left to unseat the RAM from the Mac. Remove the RAM sticks from the Mac. I'll be replacing these 256 megabyte sticks with two 1 gigabyte sticks I have on hand. Firmly press each stick of replacement RAM into the Mac. Next, the hard drive can be removed by pulling outward on this plastic tab. Remove the four hard drive caddy screws using a T8 Torx bit. Place the new drive in the proper orientation back in the hard drive caddy and reinstall the T8 Torx screws. Reinstall the hard drive while tucking the plastic tab back under the drive. Mind the small notch within the battery bay near the hard drive. The retention bracket must be inserted into it. Return the retention bracket back into place. Tuck these mesh tabs for the memory banks back into place using a plastic tool to avoid damage. Insert and turn the three Phillips screws needed for the retention bracket. Return the battery back into its bay. Lock the battery in place with a flathead screwdriver, turning the slot in a counterclockwise direction. The memory and hard drive have been upgraded, and we can now install an operating system on the polycarbonate MacBook. Look for an upcoming video where I show the process of installing Lubuntu 18.04 on this hardware. If you like this content, please consider liking and subscribing.